In today's video, I will teach you how to customize keyboard shortcuts in GIMP. Let's get started. In this guide, we'll explore how to utilize the GIMP keyboard shortcut editor to customize keyboard shortcuts and tailor GIMP to your workflow preferences. Now here's how to use the GIMP keyboard shortcut editor. Begin by selecting the Edit menu and choosing Preferences. Alternatively, if your GIMP version has a Keyboard Shortcuts option directly in the Edit menu, you can select that to skip an additional step. In the Preferences dialog, locate and select the Interface option from the list on the left. This option is typically the second one listed. Then click on the Configure Keyboard Shortcuts button. A new dialog will open, allowing you to explore various selections such as tools, by clicking on the small box with a plus sign next to each section name. Scroll through the list to find the tool or command that you wish to edit. And once selected, the shortcut column will display New Accelerator. Press the desired key or key combination to assign it as a shortcut. For example, to change the foreground select tool shortcuts to shift Control f press those keys simultaneously. But when reassigning shortcuts, be mindful of existing assignments. GIMP will alert you if the chosen shortcut is already in use. You can either cancel, keeping the original shortcut, or reassign it to the new selection. And to remove a shortcut, select the tool or command and press the backspace key when New Accelerator appears. Once you've customized your shortcuts, ensure the Save Keyboard Shortcuts on Exit checkbox is checked. And then select Close. The GIMP Keyboard Shortcut Editor enables you to add or modify shortcuts for features to enhance your workflow. Keyboard shortcuts can significantly speed up your GIMP workflow, making it more efficient. GIMP comes with default shortcuts, but customizing them can make the software more intuitive to your needs. But when reassigning shortcuts, be mindful of existing assignments. And avoid overwhelming yourself with too many shortcuts and focus on customizing shortcuts for the tools and commands that you use frequently. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.